So this Sunday marks the beginning of National Small Business Week, and Linda McMahon, Administrator for the Small Business Administration, is going to be visiting with business owners across the money to get a country to get a better sense of how they're doing in this economy. With much of the discussion, I suspect talking about taxes. We welcome now Linda McMahon here to give us a report on what she's looking forward to. So Linda, first of all, thank you for coming to Bloomberg. Good to have you here. David, thank you. It's really fun to be with you again. It's great this to This time have you in here. New York. Yeah, so exactly, exactly. So let's start with something I do know, and that is optimism among small business owners. And I think we have a chart actually we can put up pretty much as soon as President Trump was elected. It shot up. Where does it stand today? It's still going up. This is the highest level of, uh, of optimism. I think that NFIB has tracked uh, since it actually started keeping records. And uh, so that's just, it's amazing to see that. You know, when I first uh, was sworn in and first went to SBA, that level of optimism was beginning to grow on the thought, you know, that we would have regulatory reform and tax reform. And as that regulatory reform took hold and then as tax cuts were passed, that level of optimism has just, you know, continued, you know, to grow. No, no question it's remained at an elevated level. At the same time, in the very last NFIB report, it actually had come off a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, and there was speculation, at least, that that was because of concerns over trade. Are you picking up on that from small business owners? I hear a little bit about it from small business owners, but basically they are, uh, they are more concerned with continuing to roll back regulations and what they're going to do with uh, the tax cuts with that money that they now have in their pockets, uh, even if you're passed through or even if you're a C Corp, because you know it, everyone thinks about, you know, small businesses, uh, you know, are, are not getting as much as the big business. And I think they fail to realize that over 90 some percent of C Corps are small businesses. Mm -hmm. So they get the benefit of that added tax cut. And then the small pass through businesses get 20% taken off their taxable income before then they're ever taxed at the lower bracket rates now. So it's a, I think it's a win-win. One of the things we hear about a lot with respect to large corporations is a discussion about how much is going to be put back into the business, invested in capital investment, things like that, as opposed to distributed shareholders uh, through buybacks or through dividends. Do you have a sense in the small business area what that breakdown is like? I think you will see almost all small businesses reinvesting that money, whether they're giving wages or hiring new people, uh, increasing, um, again, in increasing you know wages for the people who are already there. Um, and investing in equipment. Uh, in fact, when I'm traveling around, I was up in Braintree, Mass, about a month ago, and I was in a, a, a bread baking company. Whoa, that smelled so good <laughs> walking through there. But, you know, tens of thousands of feet of all of these big ovens, and the, the owner pointed, he said, you, you see that oven over there? It's a million and a half dollars. He said, now with the tax write-off that I'm gonna be able to take, he said, I'm gonna be able to buy a new oven to add to the ones that he already had. He said, I'm gonna expand the footprint of my facility. I'm going to hire new workers, and I'm going to bake more bread and distribute it in more places around the country. In addition, he'd already given his employees bonuses. So I think that's what I hear from most small businesses. They're happy to have this money to reinvest, to hire more people, to produce more goods and services, and that's what I hear them talking about. One of the th other things that we pay attention to when it comes to corporations is leverage. How much money are they borrowing, putting on their balance sheet? I know part of an important part of what you do at the Small Business Administration is make loans. Are you making more loans, and are you at all concerned people are borrowing too much money? I'm not concerned they're borrowing too much money. We guarantee loans uh, you know, through, the lending, through our lending institutions, and what we've seen year over year now is that we're at about a 5% growth on our primary loans. And that, uh, that's terrific. The first quarter we saw it a little bit higher, and then as it, we've gotten a little farther into the year, it's uh, balanced out just a little bit at about 5% growth, which is a good indicator to us that more people are coming, more businesses are starting, or they're expanding. And uh, we can see sometimes a conjunction of a 504 loan, if you will, with a business owner like the baker that I mentioned that's going to buy this extra big piece of equipment and we can work together to help them get there. Are you picking up any concern at all, growing concern for small businessmen about the interest rates? Because we are seeing interest rates now tick back up gradually. I've not heard that yet. And uh, when, I've, when I've been traveling around the country, um, it's still a very, very positive message. Of course, nobody wants to pay more, you know, to get, uh, to get their money. Uh, but I've, I've not heard that as a growing concern. And finally, Linda, what about just accessibility to capital? Because in the past, we have heard some small businesses say, we're worried we just can't get loans, that banks have got too much regulation, they can't make loans. Uh, is that opening up? I'd like to see it open up more. Certainly, the Senate has passed, you know, uh, reforms on the Dodd-Frank Act, but that's, that's one side of it. 
We've got to get that through so our community banks can get back to lending to, you know, the people they know in the community. And SBA doesn't compete, you know, with small banks and their lending. We want to be able to enhance for those businesses who can't get a loan anywhere else so that we guarantee that loan, then lenders step up to the plate uh, and, and make the loans to those small businesses. So that's how we continue to help communities grow and businesses grow and start.